The book radiates power, but the words you read in the Codex echo in your mind, guiding your eyes safely across the page. The once indecipherable glyphs now feel dangerously familiar, promising unholy power to those who can take it. As you pass the strange glyphs, you can feel the book resisting. Ghostly voices whisper at you from the dark, probing and fighting your mind. But your will is iron, and you brush past these shades of the past, devouring every secret the book has to offer. You see now life and death are malleable as clay, to be bent and reshaped by your will by your power. But as you close the book, a nagging doubt whispers in your mind. What consequences will there be for calling the dead from their rest? Just as I was getting bored, our Lord sends us a little cutting to the chase. Moving. 
I may not have claws, but I do. Find a way forward. Hmm. Looks jammed. All the coin seems to be there, if a little blood stained. You lot are enthusiastic about your lord's work. Our lady. We serve only the absolute. Oh, silly me. We Zen to him are so long past our own godly roots, I'm afraid I forget the half of them. But you, I know. When did you start worshipping gods? 
Did they give your wee rodent a worm friend too? <coughs> rodent? Enough! You will show the Stone Lord proper respect, and you will return to the Guild Hall and do as we have paid you to. Of course. I only thought. Wait. Flop all you wish, little fish. But Minsk has caught you! On that note, good luck. The job will be done by the time you get to the Guild Hall. us all, but not today. Enough circling.
Nothing will stand in my way. We're going to be friends. that matters. Against the darkness swarming, his senses a single light glows. Rage flaring brighter every moment. Stay down for long. Tell your Elithi to protect him from the Elder Brain's influence. Quickly! No. This one will not aid our cause. Get rid of him. 
This wretch has stood against your father before. You tremble to end him. Every part of your rancorous body yearns for it. Don't be foolish. He is too unpredictable. He will only be a hindrance to us. No, I will not be coerced into protecting him. You do not see what I do. His thoughts, his mind, pure chaos. The Mind Flare pours poison in your ear, I think. Tell it I will tear the prism from your grasp and throw it into the deepest lava pit I can find. Long after our bones are dust and ash, the walls of its prison will still be burning. Now help my friend! She bluffs. Surely she would not risk the fate of all for one simple life. Fine. Have it your way. His mind unfolds beneath yours. A still lake pulls you down into its depths. Images flash by. Battles fought and friends fallen. His rage grows colder, burrows deeper as a familiar face crystallizes before you. Jahira... You killed her! You are being dramatic. The instant's hesitation is enough. With a sensation of terrible rending, something vast and nameless falls away from his mind. There. It is done. Jahira? I do not understand. Good. That means you're back to your old ways. We have a lot to discuss. But first, you have someone to thank. In the sudden silence, your minds merge once in the same breath. You... you saved Minsk. Well, he... <laughs> Suggested. You do well to heed her. Jahira was very wise. Even before she was very old. There is someone you must meet. He is... Uh, he is... Uh, where is he? Let's get on with it. now. How oh, high? Oh, I've got a long road ahead. Wish to live in more interesting times. These boots have seen everything. My friend, from our brief sharing of skulls, I know you have faced many strange beings, but none like this. 
Whatever happens, show no fear and stay your hand. Trust in Minsk. Such a hurry to our final moments. May I face death as bravely as you do. Wait! You gaze into Minsk's soul and see his foul crimes. You smell the stench of evil upon him, pointy claws primed ready to scratch out his eyes. I am sorry, my friend. I am at the mercy of your faultless justice. Now, if you must burrow through my blackened heart, I am ready. No? You are certain? <laughs> Such boundless compassion. You are all heart. And whiskers. And cute little nose. Uh, you are right, of course. There is still much evil for Boo and Mins to stamp out. But we need not fight it alone. I have a new face to show you. But it is not a villainous one for the clawing, understand? You, this is Boo. And Boo, meet you? Of course! How else was I to break through these walls? Those villains locked Boo away, lest his righteous gaze cause their tadpole to flee in terror. Now we are together again. All will be exactly as... Boo, why do you use such language? Ah, uh, once more, my hamster proves himself my greater half and makes the path clear when my mind is fuzzier than his tiny bottom. He says we will join with you and cleanse Baldur's Gate of Evil. Together! Boo and I are most adept in the doing of things, but as you wish. To camp then! For his heroics here today, Boo has earned the most vigorous of back scratchings. Time to rest. 